Welcome back. So second half of the week, the guys are continuing to work on creating the molds uh, for these ailerons. So this is one of the upper ones and uh, they're working on uh, doing the heavyweight layers on that one. And here's one of the lower ones. So that one's uh, finished with the heavyweight layers and got the peel ply on there. So that one just needs to have some bracing put down now. And something we've been meaning to do for a little while after we made a change to the size of the four plane, it meant that this cutout that we had in the forward bulkhead that was going to accept the uh, forward, uh, sorry, four plane spar is no longer necessary. The, the spar is actually going to bolt to that. So Jeff's busy sort of creating a little insert there that he can use um, to quickly create a plug and then ultimately pull a mold so we can create a little C channel that will sit in there and close that section out because we can't just leave it open because uh, it was ex expecting to have the the spar in there and ultimately this makes the design simpler uh, in the long run for production because we're just going to have a nice flat forward bulkhead uh, instead of this channel cut out of there and it'll be uh, just as strong as what it would have been without it but anyway so this is like creating a plug here um, with foam and then uh, Jeff will be glassing that and then basically pulling a mold off of that and then he'll be able to create um, a C channel out of uh, carbon fiber that will get bonded into place and close out that opening. So the guys are just holding that foam in there while the expanding foam uh, does its job and just fills in nicely and um, closes out all the little gaps um, upper and lower and around the back of that one and then Jeff can get to work on actually glassing it. And it didn't take too long for that expanding foam to set up. So here he's basically popped it out of there now and he's just got um, one layer of glass over the top of that. And uh, just let that cure and give it a quick sand and a prime and uh, it'll be ready to pull a mold. And on Wednesday and Thursday, I was lucky enough to have uh, Greg and his dad Bernie um, come down and uh, help us or help me get started with the uh, avionics wiring. So. Greg's uh, profession or part of his one of his professions is doing avionics wiring mainly certified stuff so um, he offered to come down and I said yep sure <laughs> you're more than welcome and uh, so we got the avionics wiring underway and basically got uh, a lot of the CAN bus wiring done for most of the components that are hooked up to that and you see we're doing all the labeling there with the Dymo heat shrink labeling those haven't been shrunk on there yet they're just in place and using solder sleeves to um, hook up the ground shields there and got a um, bunch of the things hooked up so that's the GSU 25 that's the Adahara's system and there's the GMU 11 so that's the magnetometer that goes out in the four plane and this is one of the um, bulkhead pass-through connectors and you, you see we've got all labels on everything there and um, we've hooked it up to the vertical power for um, you know the, the digital circuit breaker system and there's a two different displays so the vertical power comes with this nice little configurator that you run on your PC and you hook it up, hook up to the actual unit with the Ethernet and all the devices, uh, I think I've shown this before, but you can define all the devices and what circuit they're on and you know how many amps they draw and all that good stuff. And then uh, you can actually come in here and you can go to um, this syst uh, device status screen and you can actually turn on um, the ones that you want to turn on remotely when you're doing all the testing before you even have all the switches hooked up which is kind of neat and for some reason when I was recording this you can't see where my mouse is clicking but basically here I'm turning on the MFD there and then on the right hand side um, or down the bottom there turning on the GSU 25 and the GMU 11 and then on the right hand side there turning on the G5 and now that those are turned on they get power and you'll see them lighting up here so everything's sort of booting up so that's the MFD and then the PFD and then the G5 next to it and you see that one comes up right away so that's saying it's talking to the magnetometer on the um, on the CAN bus um, but it, it's not calibrated yet and this one's gone into sort of config mode and giving you database information and this here this one's coming up with the attitude uh, information there um, so it's the CAN bus c connection is working it's talking to the ADA house that GSU 25 is talking to the GMU 11 magnetometer for heading information but neither of those have been calibrated and it's pretty neat because if one of those fails, um, then the, the G5 um, actually reverts and sort of takes over. So I turned off that guy there, the GSU 25, and now the G5 is the little one there on the left is supplying information to the main one there. So you can see pitch and roll is still showing up and it's being fed by the G5. So it's a nice little backup. 
and I don't have any GPS antenna or anything in there yet. But anyway, that's coming along, and you'll see more on that next week. So the guys have got three of those aileron molds done now, so they're just putting the bracing there and the foam um, ready to be glassed over the top. Uh, so you see two of them have the foam on there, and then the one in the background over there has already been glassed, and then the last remaining um, plug still has to have the mold done. Um, so anyway, there's making good progress on those ones. So yeah, there's this one's already been done. So that one's ready just to be popped off there now and trimmed on the edges and uh, that mold's ready to be used. And Jeff finished sanding and priming uh, that little plug that he created for the insert for the forward plane, uh, so yeah, for the forward bulkhead. And uh, so there you can see it's all done. And in a second you'll see it basically just sitting back in that opening there. Uh, just to make sure it still fits nicely, which you know it should because it was pulled out of there. And so what he has to do now is basically just use that as a plug and he's just going to lay up a mold over the top of that and then you'll be able to actually create the insert and uh, it'll close that section out. And this is now Friday afternoon so guys have got the glass laid out for these um, braces. I didn't actually do that because they were busy most of the day creating the next set of platforms so um, we're moving on to that. Um, to the rudders and I'll show you that in a second. So anyway, so they got the fiberglass cut for most of these um, braces for these two that still needed bracing. Uh, but they also did the lightweight layer for the mold for this one. So they're actually pretty busy on Friday and got quite a lot of stuff done, which was good. Um, so that one just needs the heavy layers put on there and then we'll get that uh, next week. Anyway, so on to the rudders, so I uh, decided to get all this sorted out so we could get the um, plugs underway for this. So this is basically what the the right hand rudder looks like, um, most of the parts of it. And, you know, obviously you can't see the ribs and stuff behind there, but basically this is the outside skin and the inside skin. So we have to split this in two and then uh, create two plugs for that. And then obviously there's a similar mirrored two for the other side because uh, that's the right hand side and we have the left hand side as well so putting a bunch of flanges and all that sort of stuff that I normally do on it this is kind of how uh, it ends up looking here you'll see in a second when SolidWorks catches up so it's basically what it looks like there with the flanges that I put on it and uh, nothing really complicated there so these things are moving along really quickly now as you know it didn't take us long to um, knock out the ones for the ailerons and the rudders are probably just as simple um, so they should go fairly quickly, but anyway, that's what it looks like um, there with the flanges on there. And here's some of the tool paths there. So there's the rough cut around the outside just to get rid of the foam we don't need. And, you know, when you click on these different ones, you get the different milling passes there that are going to run and uh, cut all those shapes out there. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be good to get those ones done. And then once the rudders are done, we'll be on to doing uh, probably the four plane... Uh, spa and there's two of those uh, one main one and the, just another smaller forward one and then uh, elevators for the spa and then we have one more cowling and then baggage doors and gear doors and then we're pretty much done so we're starting to close in on the last set of uh, um, plugs and moles which is really exciting and here's the two platforms that the guys have got done out of the first so the first two of the four that they're going to do for all the rudders and the steel's just sitting on there to hold that foam in place while the glue sets up and uh, while you're watching that and it's just about to get started on the machine I'll just give you a quick update so Mark's busy working on this new uh, design for hooking up that oil feed to the back of the um, the redrive and we're going to evaluate that because I did get the quote back for these other seals and it's basically what they said it was going to be and I have to buy 10 of them at 200 bucks each which is kind of a downer but and it's a 10 or 11 week wait but anyway we're going to make an evaluation on Monday as to if that's going to be a better deal or it's going to be better to go with this new design that Mark's coming out because that's going to take us a little bit of time and money as well. So we're going to just have to make a call, but um, we'll figure it out and I'll let you guys um, know uh, next week. Uh, anyway, so here it is, the first of the rudder is underway, so it won't be long. We'll have some more uh, molds um, getting sorted out. So that's our update for this week, and thanks again for watching.